Why is sleep important? A video for primary age children from East Lancashire Hospital Trust's mental health support team. Facts about sleep. Children aged between 5 and 12 years old need around 10 to 12 hours of sleep a night. Not having enough sleep can affect lots of different things, such as the way that we think and feel. We have different stages of sleep and the most important stage is the rapid eye movement stage. That is the deepest stage of sleep. When we have big sleeps, we can go through this cycle of sleep four to six times. This is a sleep cycle. It is broken down into four stages. The first three stages are known as non-rapid eye movement sleep. The first stage lasts around one to five minutes. This is when we are falling asleep. Stage two lasts around 10 to 60 minutes. This is when our temperature begins to drop and our heart rate begins to slow. The next stage, stage three, is a bit of a deeper sleep. Normally, this lasts around 20 to 40 minutes and this is when our muscles start to relax and our blood pressure and our breathing rates start to slow. The final stage, or rapid eye movement stage of sleep, lasts between 10 and 60 minutes. This is when parts of our brain become more active, but our body has become more relaxed and immobile. And it's in this stage that dreams happen. What happens when we sleep? Many scientists believe lots of things can happen when we sleep, such as the body uses this time to repair and regrow, such as muscle repair, tissue growth and hormone release. This helps support us growing from a child into an adult. We also know that sleep helps with our brain function. So sleep allows your brain pathways to reorganize themselves. So this is the process for learning, memory, problem solving, focus, concentration, creativity, and decision making. So when you guys have been busy at school learning new things, your brain is very busy at night making sure that it stores it in the right place. We also know that sleep can impact on our emotional well-being. So when you are asleep, brain activity in areas of your brain increase. These areas are linked to regulating emotion, such as the amygdala and the hippocampus. So these parts of your brain are in charge of your emotions. What can impact on sleep? Devices. The blue light that is emitted from devices have a unique impact on alertness, hormone production and sleep cycles. Your mental health. Worries, ruminating and stress can impact on the ability to get to sleep and to stay asleep. Drinks containing caffeine such as Coca-Cola and Monster can impact on sleep. Poor sleep patterns getting into bad habits when it comes to going to bed. Diet can also impact on sleep, so higher fat and calorie snacks can impact on being able to achieve REM sleep. What happens when you don't sleep? Your body's power to fight illness is reduced. Short sleep that's for less than five hours a night can have a negative effect on your heart health. Your brain function is affected and it can make it harder to learn, remember things and make decisions. You can gain weight as it can affect your hormones and you may want more sugary foods to give you that energy. You can be more accident prone because you have a lack of spatial awareness. You are unable to regulate your emotions as well and you can be a bit more grumpy or sad. How to promote healthy sleep. Have a couple of hours device free before bed. Your bed is for sleeping only, so try not to chill out or watch TV on your bed. Avoid caffeine four to six hours before bed. Ensure that the room is sleep friendly so that it's dark, cool, comfortable and quiet. Get regular, set yourself up a good routine and try and keep this going even through the weekend. Exercise regularly, but not too near bedtime. Eat a balanced diet, so avoid high calorie, high fat snacks before bed. No naps during the day, as this will delay you getting to sleep at night. 
Create a sleep ritual or a sleep routine, such as shower, PJs, hot drink, read for 20 minutes and then go to sleep. Even when you've had a bad night's sleep, try and keep your daily routine the same. Here is an example of a sleep routine or a sleep ritual. So switch off all electronics two hour prior to bedtime. Have a bath or a shower. Have a snack that's low calorie. Create a relaxing space. Snuggle down and go to sleep. It can be very frustrating when you are struggling to get to sleep. So here are a few pointers to try if you are struggling. The tense and relax technique. So focus on parts of your body, starting with your feet and working your way up. Tense the muscles, hold for a few seconds and relax. Or focus on your breathing, so take deep breaths. Breathe in for five seconds, hold for five seconds and breathe out for five seconds. And bring your attention to your breathing. You could try guided meditations. They're available on most Alexas, Google Nests, YouTube and there's the Moshi Sleep Stories. Have a hot drink, such as hot milk. Make sure that there's no caffeine in it. Snacks such as buttered toast. If you need any further information around sleep, here are a few websites that can give you some handouts and some pointers around healthy sleep tips. Thank you for watching.